When I got diagnosed with EMS, my whole life at that point changed. I tried to receive healing in for probably about eight years straight. Like I felt like I had to receive something. I had to fight and do all these things. When you suffer, then you suffer some more. There's nothing left. There's no will to live. Death actually looks great. That's where I was at. For years, Jeremiah fought multiple sclerosis, a chronic disease with symptoms that include pain, fatigue, difficulty walking, and depression. Though he had seen God deliver him from drugs and alcohol, and though he had seen countless others healed of incurable diseases, Jeremiah reached the point where he just wanted to give up and die. This is the story of how one former addict turned Karis student received his healing not in formulas or 12-step programs, but through learning to rest in the finished work of Jesus. This is the healing journey of Jeremiah Class. As a heavy drug user, Jeremiah assumed that the symptoms of MS were just a byproduct of his lifestyle. For weeks, he ignored the warning signs until one day, his body began shutting down. I'm walking down the sidewalk and it felt uh, half my body, exactly half my body went numb. So I thought because of the drugs I did and the crazy lifestyle caused me to have a stroke. So that's what got me to the hospital. They had recommended me to go to a specialist, a neurologist. And when he told me the diagnosis, I wasn't sure what that was. So I asked him, I said, well, what, is, what does that mean? And then he started uh, giving some of the details where you lose your function of your body. When, I, when he told me that, I, I left the office and I just went and got some alcohol. And it didn't hit me until I realized that I, I couldn't continue in the lifestyle I was in and I didn't know how to get out of it because I was hooked on all this stuff. Years after I got diagnosed with uh, MS, I ended up in a rehab and I got saved and set free from drugs and alcohol, but I still had this incurable disease, multiple sclerosis. I ended up in a nursing home. I had lost all strength and I was getting super weak, so my muscle tone was really gone. Uh, everything that I used to be able to do, I couldn't really do anymore. They had put me on disability because of the MS, so I had all the time in the world. And I was sitting in my, sitting in my bedroom one night and I asked God, I said, I need a teacher. And so I said, God, we have the internet. What, what teacher should I, I listen to? And he led me to Andrew Womack. Today, I'm going to begin a brand new series talking about God Wants You Well. And so I started listening to God Wants You Well, all these different teachings that he had on his website, and just listening to him day after a day. Healing Journeys was a big part of me in believing that this is possible for me, too. The first one that, I, that really uh, helped me to, to build my faith and believe that God is still healing today was Mike Hesh, because he had, he had a picture of everything that he went through from start to finish. And then uh, Mercy Santos, she was healed of MS, the same thing that I was dealing with. I got these healing testimonies to show me that it actually works. Jeremiah soaked in all of Andrew's material, including our healing journeys, which he watched religiously. After listening for eight years, Jeremiah was confused on why he still had MS. Though he understood the believer's authority, God wants you well, and you've already got it. He didn't yet understand that the Word of God is not the formula that could be followed like a 12-step program. My mind had gotten renewed from its old way of thinking of drugs, alcohol, by listening to Andrew's teachings over and over and over again because the mind was being renewed. But I had had this uh, incurable disease that I just couldn't seem to, to get to, to go away. No matter how many times I quoted the scriptures, no matter how many times I read the healing scriptures, prayed for other people, just all kinds of stuff I did. And it just seems like nothing was working for me. And I was, so, I was beyond frustrated. Like I was actually becoming very unstable. I couldn't open the Bible without all this pressure. Like I felt like I had to receive something. I had to fight and do all these things. And when this healing thing wasn't working after so many years, it just kept making me more bitter and, and hope deferred made, made my heart sick. And the last thing I told God, I said, I'll try everything that I can do to receive healing. And Andrew Womack School was the last thing on the list. As his last ditch effort to receive healing, Jeremiah decided to enroll at Karis Bible College. Well, it was the first year of school I was there and I had I'd gotten so sick, I had lost all the feeling to my body and my emotional thinking wasn't really proper. I just wasn't functioning. But I remember sitting in the back auditorium and I would sit there 
just like wanting to quit carries and all of it. When you suffer, then you suffer some more. There's nothing left. There's no will to live. Death actually looks great. That's where I was at. I had missed the first thing, and that was asking God into all this. And I just talked to God out loud. I says, I'm done with this. But once I just quit and let all of my works go, I was able to just rest. All the pressure was relieved off of me. And now it was all God's turn. God has already provided everything that you ever will need, and you just rest in this. You trust Him. Instead of believing that you've got to do something to get God to move and provide your needs, instead you rest in the fact that God, by grace, has already provided everything you will ever need. All my focus went on to God. I was so focused on Him and working on my relationship with Him. I wasn't looking for my symptoms anymore. I wasn't doing any of that. I uh, stayed so focused on Jesus and His love for me that I didn't realize my symptoms were fading away. I started doing construction stuff around the house. And through that, I, I forgot about my symptoms. There came a moment I was on a, on a roof putting uh, shingles on. And I realized, like, I'm, I'm really healed. And when I just quit and turned to God and asked Him for help, and that's when my healing came. After receiving his breakthrough and graduating from Karis, Jeremiah is now in full-time ministry where he shares the same truth that set him free. You can either have a Christian religion or you have a walk with God. As Adam and Eve walked and talked with God in the cool of the garden before the Bible was even written. In addition to teaching at live events, Jeremiah has published multiple books that share in greater detail how the love of God delivered him from drug addiction and multiple sclerosis. To learn more about his ministry, visit jeremiahclass.com. As Jeremiah goes out and sees others healed by his revelation on God's rest, he realizes that none of this would have been possible without the support of our friends and partners. So I just want to say thank you for all the people that have helped to get this message out, to show me that God does want me well, that God loves me. I used to have a fighting faith, now I have a resting faith. But I had that one block, and it was not knowing him personally. 